Hello everyone. Welcome to Engineered Learnings. Engineered Learnings has been created as an effort to help and reach out to all the engineering students, aspirants and professionals out there with the basic understanding and the crux of the topics important for placements, vivas, semesters, competitive examinations and all types of interviews. So let's go to today's topic. Welcome everyone. So uh, today, welcome everyone. So just one month away from GATE examination, GATE 2020, Chemical Engineering examination. So not much time in our hands, but uh, we all believe that we have done our preparations well, and uh, we will be able to crack the examination. So all the juniors, all the bachelors that are going to give the examination, all those who are giving the uh, GATE 2020 examinations, all the best to them. Uh, we all hope that we will be able to crack the examination, just believe in yourself, don't take too much stress just before the examination. Try to uh, remember all the things that you have studied till now and uh, this one month the strategy is going to be simple, it's going to be crux and it's going to be to the point. You don't need to study anything extra as of now. What you need to do is, this one month of time you need to solve the previous year papers. That's all you need to do. The previous year papers, that is the previous 10 year paper you need to solve from uh, 2011 to 19. Whatever have been the papers, you need to go through all of them, all of the questions, try to solve them, then try to match up the answers and uh, try to find out where, where you are going wrong, how much time you are consuming up. You need to make a study on your own uh, capabilities. That is all you need to do. Uh, the previous year papers uh, from 2011 to uh, 19. After you are done with 2011 to 19 papers, you can go for 2001 to 9 papers, 2001 to 10 papers. Uh, so the previous 20 years you are done with and still if you are left with some time, you just have to go through this chart or booster that I have prepared and basically to find out which topics you are done with and which are left. So whatever you are left with, you can cover up that, maybe study something new and uh, Make sure that, that what, what are the questions that have been generally asked in the 20 years that have been asked from those topics and try to solve those topics. So this is basically a chart that makes sure that you have uh, completed all the um, topics of uh, prime importance in GATE. So whoever is planning for uh, 2021 GATE, they can also go through this chart to find out what you have to uh, study. You have one year in hand so you can do it and the 2019 people just go through the previous year papers, do not take too much stress and try to make sure that you have completed most of the topics that is mentioned that are mentioned here. It's difficult to, come, to cover all of them but I have made a basic chart so that you can make sure that you have covered most of it. So uh, coming to the basic uh, subject wise topic that is being asked in chemical engineering. So basically we will deal with fluid, uh, CRE that is chemical reaction engineering, mass transfer, heat transfer chemical thermodynamics and engineering thermodynamics and finally process dynamics control that is PDC. So to start with fluid you need to make sure that you have uh, completed the characteristics of fluid that is the uh, basic uh, differences in uh, Newtonian and non-Newtonian fluids, uh, dilatant and pseudoplastic fluids, uh, shear thinning, shear thickening, you have done all of that, uh, big hand plastic fluid, types of fluids and their classifications on the basis of uh, their behaviors. Then you have to cover the Barnard's equation, the engineering Barnard's equation, mainly the friction factors from it, the form friction and the screen friction, uh, where does it come into uh, application, how do you need to find the uh, uh, required friction factor at a point of time with the given equations. You need to deal with engineering Barnard's equation and you need to solve more and more problems from it. Now coming to the energy balance equation, very important equation to find out the power that a pump is uh, consuming to transfer fluid from one place to the other, from one pressure to another. So it is basically how much power is being consumed, how much heat is being delivered, how much work is being done by the shaft, there is a shaft work. So it is basically an energy balance equation in fluid mechanics that you need to do. Then the stream functions and the velocity functions, stream functions basically deal with the streamline. Uh, you need to go through those as well. Then you need to go through uh, the pressure difference that is delta P in a pipe which leads you to finally the Hagen Poiseuille's equation particularly. So uh, that delta P calculation, the derivations and all. Though the derivations don't come directly but once you have derived that those concepts are going to be clear. Then you need to deal with boundary layer, momentum boundary layer basically uh, when it comes to fluid uh, me mechanics. And then you need to deal with drag and terminal velocity. 
there is a drag force, uh, what is the equation and uh, what are the dealings with it, the organs equation for uh, pack weight calculation, uh, then the flow meters, that is uh, basically the orifice meter and the venturi meter, no need to go for odometers and all because orifice and venturi are the main sectors that are being asked or charged up with. Then obviously pumps, uh, the types of pumps, where and how they are used, the equations of the pumps. And finally NPSH uh, and cavitation, that is net positive suction and how is it calculated, from which height it is calculated. Questions have been asked from there as well. So we are done with fluid. So make sure that you cover most of the topics, if not all. Uh, CRE, CRE, chemical reaction engineering, you will have to go for the basic equations of the CSTR, PFR, batch reactors, uh, their arrangements, the series, parallel, uh, whatever be it, uh, when a PFR is fitted uh, with a CSTR, what happens, the combinations and all. Uh, then the autocatalytic reactions where the product itself acts as a catalyst, you need to go through that, those reactions as well. The selectivity of a catalyst, then the thin modulus, effectiveness factor, uh, the catalytic study. Uh, of a reactor, uh, of a catalyst, you need to go through that. Then you need to go through the energy balance equation once again in the chemical reaction engineering, that is whenever there is a triple bed reactor or something like that. If you have the energy balance very clear in your mind, where are the terms, what are the heat inputs, what are the heat outputs, what is the heat accumulation in the system, everything else will be sorted out if you have that clear in the mind. So uh, next going to RTD, that is uh, RTD analysis, uh, CT, ET, FT, uh, relations among CT, ET, FT and uh, the, then the mean residence time calculation, you need to have those ideas clear. The dispersion model and the segregation model, the two important models in RTD uh, analysis. So you need to go through that and as I have already mentioned, the tanks and series are very important. Questions have uh, come in previous years from tanks and series, a PFR combined with the CSTR, what happens uh, when series is there, a parallel is there, arrangements and all. And then we have to go to mass transfer. Mass transfer basically deals with fixed law, fixed first law, fixed second law. You need to go through that. Film theory, surface renewal theory, penetration theory, all these theories you need to go through. Boundary layer, uh, mass transfer boundary layer. We've already gone through momentum uh, boundary layer in fluid, mass transfer boundary layer. The number of stages calculation in a packed tower, uh, number of stages calculation in a packed tower by NTOG, HTOG. Uh, overall efficiency factors and in a tray tower by uh, Krenzer equation as we all know and then for humidification uh, the calculation of humidity the calculation of anaerobic temperature wet bulk temperature dry bulk temperature uh, what are those concepts how are it how is it calculated then liquid liquid extraction you can uh, minute, uh, minutely stress on that not need to go into the details of the system. Drying important, again, drying is important, you can go for that. Distillation questions come from here frequently, four to, uh, four to six marks uh, questions, uh, two to three questions come from this section. You need to know packet theorem, you need to know where what is XD, what is XD by R plus one, the graphical approach of it, where does it cut, what does it signify, what if you increase the number of stages, the number of stages calculation from the packet theorem, how it is done and why it is done. Then you need to go for the absorption tower also, for the light distillation column, the absorption tower, if it is a stripping operation, what will happen, if it is an absorption operation, what will happen, uh, how will the carb uh, be, if uh, it is going from gas to liquid, how, the, how is the nature of the carb, if it is going from liquid to gas, if it is being transferred, then what is the approach, then Fenske's equation, another important equation for number of stages calculation. Uh, yeah generalized approach then batch distillation we can always go for uh, batch distillation so that um, uh, covers up the mass transfer domain up to some extent definitely so you make sure that you complete most of it here then we go to heat transfer heat transfer deals with conduction convection radiation broadly classified but uh, if you go into the details you have to study the Fourier's equation for conduction then you need to uh, go for the critical uh, for the resistance calculation that is for cylindrical or spherical or uh, other types of systems what is the resistance involved uh, that is the heat transfer resistance involved then fins uh, the heat transfer associated with uh, fins in the system then lump capacitance model another important model which has uh, mixed effects of pdc and heat so lump capacitance model is another important model critical insulation thickness which we have already dealt with in our previous video i've taught critical insulation thickness so you can refer to that a boundary layer thermal boundary layer we can always refer to then the heat transfer coefficient for flat plates laminar flow turbulent flow you need to know the difference of that how to calculate the heat transfer coefficient from there you will reach the latest volter equation very important equation for uh, uh, convection uh, through a pipe 
you need to go through the analogies uh, that is the heat transfer mass transfer analogy that is the Reynolds analogy Coleman factor you need to go through all of this analogies thing then you need to go through radiation where you need to study Stephen Boltzmann constant and uh, radiation equations uh, e to the power 4 uh, you need to <coughs> go through that boiling another very important topic is boiling you need to go through the pool boiling curve in particular where you will know about the latent force point and the maximum heat flux point the critical heat flux point you need to study all of that you need to study the pool boiling curve in particular then you need to go through the condensation operation is in beef when brief and uh, evaporator system uh, there are multiple effect evaporator doesn't come in gate it's a single effect evaporator so you need to go through single effect evaporators in details so that covers up the domain of heat transfer mostly then we go to uh, thermodynamics thermodynamics engineering thermodynamics basics laws of thermodynamics the basics of thermodynamics pressure temperature volume relationship for ideal gas what is going to be the approach for non-ideal what is going to be the approach the compressibility factor and everything then we come to solution thermodynamics uh, solution thermodynamics class clausius clapeyron equation you need to go through the fugacity concept when does the fugacity come in place when does the pressure system come in place you need to go through that for po for combined system or compressed system uh, fugacity calculation then henry's law lewis uh, uh, law uh, the, the, those numericals you have to solve then vapor liquid equilibrium problems you need to solve in thermodynamics uh, effect of temperature and equilibrium constant you have to solve those and the different states uh, uh, equation of different states you need to uh, solve that as well and then uh, there is this c minus p plus to the um, uh, degrees of freedom calculation in thermodynamics as well you need to go through those basics as well so coming to pdc the final topic of uh, importance uh, you need to go through the first order second order uh, 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 equations of uh, process dynamics and then you have to study interacting and non-interacting systems you need to study all the three types of controllers that is uh, proportional controllers, proportional integral controllers and proportional integral differential controllers that is P, PI and PID, feed forward and feedback uh, offset, ziegler nicolas tuning, tuning factors, gain, phase margin or gain margin, uh, casket control arrangement, where is it done, how is it done, the application of the same, uh, the stability analysis, most importantly the stability analysis, uh, the most criterion and all. Uh, you have to go through that as well and all of the applications, the boundary application, the engineering application in industry or in uh, natural problems, you need to go through the problems, that is why we are stressing on the last 10 years. Apart from this, the gate also has a particular section of Chemtech questions, Chemtech mostly comes from, uh, repeated from previous year questions, Chemtech is not that difficult to crack, uh, some information you will have to keep in mind, it is mostly of uh, remembering certain factors, particularly as far as the gate is concerned, because gate mostly does not ask, uh, asks difficult industrial questions, but the general overview of the same. So you need to solve previous years for Chemtech. There is another subject called process economics, where you will have to calculate the net, net present worth calculation, capital cost calculation, break even analysis, you need to study all of this, uh, the equipment cost, the fixed cost, the uh, Operational cost, you need to go through that, the industrial system costs and cost analysis, you can go through that if you have time. And uh, finally, there is AFT and maths, there are uh, 15 questions from that as well. So, aptitude uh, is a general thing that develops, uh, and you can practice those things as well. Aptitude and maths, uh, uh, there are uh, vivid topics, so you need to cover up that as well. And you can always go to pariksha.com, I refer to this personally, pariksha.com. Pariksha dot com you can go for this pariksha.com for solving aptitude and maths and uh, that is uh, it i think this covers the entire syllabus so if you haven't uh, done any of it you do not need to worry uh, not everyone will complete all of the topics it's just a uh, general overview which subject which particular domain covers what what topics for game and uh, where the questions come from particularly what do you need to study there are many things that we have omitted as well but these were the prime important things we couldn't have avoided that but then many of these topics will be left off by many of the students so you do not need to worry if you haven't come uh, you cover the topics you just need to solve the previous years paper trust me i have implemented the same my friends have implemented the same my juniors i've seen my seniors doing the same previous year papers it really helps and some of them haven't even covered most of the topics and yet they have scored very well in get by just solving the papers because they get a feel of the 
subject where does the questions uh, what are the domains that uh, the questions come from so even if you do not know all the equations or you cannot remember all the equations or you are making silly mistakes it will only be covered by practice of previous year's paper so in this one month of time you should mainly focus on solving previous year papers you should go to parikshan.com try to improve your aptitude and maths and after that try to solve the previous 20 years paper as well if you are done with 2001 paper then you can go through this list and see if you are left with anything new my suggestion would be not to study anything new prior to one week of the examination prior to one week of the examination is the time where you will have to relax your mind you do not need to panic or you do not need to go for anything new so whatever has to be done has to be done before that so you just go through the topic you see what the what are the topics that you have missed maybe you can look up to some questions or solutions and you can uh, broadly finished finish uh, the basic formulas that come from this topic so uh, that is it I would believe all the best to all the candidates that are aspiring for game and I hope that you pass the game with flying colors you all get the qualifying marks and some of you get the PSUs and the IITs that you are targeting trust me it's not that difficult study hard perform and you will get it if you liked our video share it subscribe to our channel like the page Thank you very much.